Hi, my name's Peter Coffin. What do you get when you cross a warehouse with a club? We're going to get all the stuff for my birthday party. And we're only going to one place. That's right, Costco. Or Sam's Club, if you think Walmart doesn't do it big enough. What has made Costco so popular? People love cheap prices. With more deals, Costco can sell more products. So the Costco membership fee is quickly paid back and more than 90% of people keep their membership. If you join the club and pay your fees, you get to enjoy the low, low prices of all that stuff that they've got in the warehouse. Are you in the club? We need chips. And more chips. Boxes of trail mix. Soft and chewy granola bars. Plates for the cake. These kids get thirsty. We need some juice boxes. Like I said, these kids get thirsty. I think that's everything we need. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you got a bunch of kids coming over for a birthday party. Uh, yeah, yeah, you would do that. That's exactly why you would go to Costco, yes. Now, there's definitely some of what I call cultivated identity going with these Costco guys, but that's not really what intrigued me about this. You see, people hate these guys. A guy by the name of Big Justice Mittens, who is apparently the actual sad cat meme guy, whom I would venture to guess does not have a lot going on, can't take this shit. They have to be stopped. This is making its rounds on Twitter, getting a lot of engagement. And a lot of people agree with him. Forget that they aren't funny or entertaining or interesting. Even their takes suck. What takes? Costco guys? Let's check out. Do you think it's over or under $150? Figured I'd just cool off for a minute before we get out of here. And of course I couldn't leave without my chicken bake! And my double chunk chocolate cookie! Well, those are some takes, aren't they? They're really saying things there. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's when kids say they like chicken bakes! Chicken bakes! Bad take, guys. Yikes. I do have to say, I, I, I definitely understand the cookie eating. Look, like he's staring right at the camera while he's eating that cookie. He's like, you see this cookie? I saw this cookie, and it's mine. Don't even think about coming for this cookie! Bad take, mister. All right, last chance. Are we over $150? We're under $150. Classic chips mix. One flavor mix. 36 pack apple and Eve. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, he fucking does another one. Sorry, that's a funny kid. I'm not saying everything that they've done in this video is like the coolest or funniest thing I've ever seen or anything, but that was funny. Soft and chewy granola bars, two. Two trail mix. Right two now. war. We're Let's in the say. midst of two wars. Uh. Plates for the cake. And the water, cause these kids get thirsty. Ah. <laughs> Dad looks like the kind of guy that chats up girls half his age at the gym and within 20 seconds works in how he's separated and then takes them to Chili's for two-for-one appetizer Tuesdays and takes four Viagra tablets in the washroom thinking he'll get lucky. All right, do you think that a, a, even a young woman who grew up in this world, uh, which has told her at every corner that every man is out to prey on her, do you think she doesn't know why she's going to Chili's for two-for-one appetizer Tuesdays? Like, first off, by the hypothetical criteria of the type of guy you're talking about, you're calling him a success. Second off, you're just applying that to this guy for no fucking reason. Guy is out with his kid having fun. Like, TikTok is a thing nowadays that's like a big thing with people. He thinks, oh, a great way to bond with my kid is to make TikToks. What do we like? We like that big old warehouse club we're part of. That's what we like. Man, Artie, Artie Fufkin, really, he went in on defending his whole... This guy looks like somebody who hits on younger women at the gym thing. So let's finish this off and find out what they spent. And the total is $143.01. Okay. How did we stay under? <laughs> Costco gets a big boom! I will never shop at Costco or visit New Jersey again. The New World Order has perfected their perfect consumers. Redundant sentence. I know that's petty, but like I've written this many books, okay? WTF, I hate Costco now. What kind of party are they throwing with that weak stuff? 
like, I get it. It's a little annoying that these guys are out essentially making Costco commercials for free. Yes. The end of that is way over the top. $149 is not that great for what, for that. I don't know. It might be good, but all of that inflation has just completely destroyed everyone's brain, and we have no idea what anything is worth at this point. People are like, inflation went down, inflation went down. We had 9% inflation for the better part of a year, and the rate of inflation went down. The prices of things did not. I don't even feel like they're father and son. I think they're just time travelers. And the older one came back in time to make sure his younger self gets that chicken bake before they're eradicated in 2037. I actually ran into them at Boca Raton Costco. Everyone recognized them and were starstruck. These have to be the end times. Why are we continuing to deprive our youth of healthy nutrition? Birthday or not, choices reflect on behavior. Remarkably annoying people. I just know he's got bodies buried in the backyard. A real reason to ban TikTok. So like, this is ridiculous. Like, among the people who don't just hate kids, like, everybody's complaining about how kids are spending all their time on screens nowadays. Parents aren't spending enough quality time with their children. These children are raising themselves. I love that this parent is involved with his kid. His kid wants to do something, and he is encouraging of it. He's helping it. He's facilitating it. Yes, they're doing it at Costco. Consume! 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 More! Now, there is a perception that seems to repeat itself uh, that some people think Costco is paying them. And I'm not saying that's impossible, but this is not good advertising for Costco. It doesn't make me think, ah, I need to go to Costco, it, it, like at all. In marketing, this would be what you would call an awareness advertisement if it were an advertisement, and Costco doesn't need awareness. People know what Costco is and why it exists, and most people who retain a membership there like it. I like it. Costco is an example of what capitalism does right. Like the infrastructure to have a Costco, if you actually think about it, is kind of a miracle. The production and the supply chain and the distribution channels, it's all actually incredible. And with a different arrangement of power, Costco could literally feed the world. Hunger could be done using those methods. We obviously aren't at that point, but I'd like it. I love going to their food court and spending a dollar fifty on a good lunch. An actually good lunch. Their pizza's great. Their hot dogs are great. I've never tried their chicken bake, but if it's as good as the other stuff, it's probably pretty good. I agree with this man on their cookies, too. But their video didn't really make me think of that. Justifying my defense of Costco did. <laughs> my participation in the argument aspect of this kind of made me have to get myself interested in Costco here. Um, they did not pay me to say any of that. They should have, but they didn't. No, actually, the people doing the marketing for Costco are the people getting mad at this father and son for doing stuff together that makes sense in 2024. Hey, Dad, can we make some TikToks together? Sure, son. That sounds like a thing families could do together in 2024. Like, if this video is the type of thing you can't tolerate, don't criticize these guys for it. This is the default. This is how we are allowed to interface with society. Our choices are supposed to be around what we consume, and our actions are supposed to be around advocating for brands. That's not these guys' fault. But the advertising, the real marketing, is the fact that there are people that hate these guys. This is the normal way of existing in a consumer society, a, a service-based economy. It's, it's going to the store, picking up stuff uh, to have at home. And all these people who are hating on that are essentially providing a heel, a bad guy, an invader, someone to defend against, so that everybody on the normal side, rather than questioning the meaning of things or power arrangements or why things are as they are, Instead, they see people attacking their way of life and feel meaning from defending it. The marketing is the argument, the engagement, the conflict. Those people yelling about how awful these guys are are effectively doing work for Costco. I 
am talking about Costco because of how insane it looks that people are vehemently against a father and a son making videos about shopping at Costco. Costco won. That's that's flat out what happened here. On my part, this is not sponsored content for Costco, but you are now thinking about Costco. You're now talking about it. And back a few years ago, I used to talk about companies specifically attempting to make this happen, setting up sides and setting them against each other. They don't even have to now. That's just the ideology of society. And there's a lot of situations that are like this, where people say, well, you're just getting paid by the company, or you're a fed, and nobody actually has to be any of these things. There's market incentive for you to act a certain way, and there's market incentive for others to argue with that thing. It's a damn merry-go-round, and we need to start interrogating it like this. These guys are fine. They're just two guys having a good time. We're just two guys who are having a good time, having a good time, having a good time. This isn't productive. It doesn't question anything. It doesn't progress anything. It's just like a couple of guys. Who cares? I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, what do you have for me, though? Right? There's a whole comment section that you can fill up with stuff that you have to say. There's buttons that I'd like you to lick to slurp all over, become a subscriber and all that, and money me at patreon.com slash Peter Coffin. I hope you have a good day and a nice big chocolate chunk cookie.